Hi, welcome to Teach Me Software. So today I'm going to show you how to re remove the author name and then also how to remove the name of the last person that modified a file in a Microsoft Word file. So I've got just a dummy file that I made here. And if you come up here and click on File and Info, it shows all this information about this file. It shows a title. It shows some tags that I have. These are all things I just added to it. And then the comments, how to remove the author from a uh, Word document, and then the author, it has Teach Me Software, last modified by Teach Me Software. So I'm going to show you an easy way to remove all this information. If for some reason or another you don't want this information showing on a document, you can take it out. So the, the author is relatively easy to remove. You can just right-click it and click Remove Person, and it takes it away. But there's no way to remove the Teach Me Software in this method. So, the, I'm sorry, the last modified part, you can't take that off. And I guess you could go in there and change these manually too and remove them. But this one right here, the last modified by, is always going to show on there unless you use this other method. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to undo where it puts our author back in. So, we've got file, info. Now that put our author back in. So, this is the way your file would normally look when you create it and save it for the first time. So, we're going to go back. And we're going to go ahead and save the file again, and then we're going to close it. And then when you come into the, where your file is saved in this folder right here. So you right-click that and click on Properties, and then Details right here. And it shows all this stuff is listed in here again. But if you come down there to the bottom, it says Remove Properties and Personal Information. So you click on that, and then it brings up this box here. And then the first one that defaults to is create a copy with all possible properties removed or remove the following properties from this file. So we're going to do remove the following properties from this file. And there's all our thing, our title, tags, uh, comments, a bunch of other information, and then our authors in the last save by. So if you just select all on that, it's going to collect, select all of those. And then you hit OK. And it now it's removed all of that stuff off there. So you just hit OK. Now open our file back up, and you go back to File, and Info again, and nothing. The title's gone, the tag's gone, the comment's gone, the add an author's gone, and the not saved yet is what it says by last modified. So there's nothing tracking this file back to you anymore. So I'm going to show you one other thing now. I want you to stay with me because this is something that's important. Say you've done this, and this is, okay, yeah, this is what I want. So you go back, and you go back in here, and I say you want to email this file or send it off to somebody. They're going to get the file, but there's going to be no information tracking that file back to you. But the problem is, say you go in here, and you just type something else on the end of your file. And you go back, and then you save it and then you close. Now let's go back and look at it again. Now that we've saved that file again after that, you go back to File and Info, it added the last modified back on there again. So here's what you gotta do. You basically, you go back and you do the same thing again. You right click, you go to Properties, Details, Remove Properties and Personal Information, and then you remove the following properties from this file, select all, hit OK. Now I've got to close the file. And try again. The file's got to be closed before you can do that. So you just remember that you got to close the file first before you can do all this. So we'll go back and then we'll open the file back up now. And we should be back where we started with no information in there. So file info and there's no information on it now so the thing you got to remember on this is that if you want to say you're you're done with this it's the way you want it well once it's saved and you've removed all the information the way we just showed you really have no reason to save it anymore so now we just want to close that file and now when you go to send it say you send it out of this folder to someone else or save it onto a, a flash drive or whatever and then it's going to still not have any information in it. 
So that's the same file that you send, no matter what you do to it now, as long as you don't save it again on your computer, it's not going to do that. It's got nothing on there. So anyway, I hope this is helpful to you. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Thank you.